How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sports .com, on Wednesday, March the 15th, as we get this video to you. Uh, this is your uh, free pick video. Let me get that to you pretty quickly here. It is going to be on the, uh, well, I'll tell you that in a second. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 19 years, and Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms sort of work. Welcome to my podcast. Our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva. Our next best selections are our YouTube premium selections where we give you three extra drops every single day, all for just $20 a month. It is our teaching channel where we teach you how to fish and how to look at ball games more in depth. Our final best selections are our free picks and leans, which is what you get on this daily video um, right now. And don't forget, we have a live show. We're going to do a live show tonight at around, um, I'd say, 9.30 Eastern. 9 or 9.30, probably 9. Um, probably 9.30 today, actually. But it's available to everybody, but only YouTube Premium members can comment and ask questions about ball games. We'll be on for about 20 minutes. We're going to do it tonight. We're going to do it tomorrow. Tonight and tomorrow. And uh, maybe next week we'll do it more. We'll see. We're going to give it a shot. But uh, uh, be sure to join YouTube Premium to, uh, you know, jump in on the conversation. Free $60 of the Premium selection as well in the link below in the comment section as well as the link to how to get to YouTube Premium. If you want even more content, hop onto our Twitter. has our consensus reports, our trends on late night ball games, and our hot takes on sports as well. All right, your free play today is I like the Miami Heat here. Uh, minus the points. By the way, we have a five-unit selection today as it relates to... Um, yeah, we have a five-unit selection today uh, on college basketball, which goes off at 10. Nice five-unit winner yesterday on Liberty. Plus 5,500 run currently and plus 6,000 uh, last year in baseball. Plus 36,000 last nine years. Baseball starts in about 16 days, so jump on our baseball package. Early bird winning seven of nine seasons. And again, plus 6,000 last year. NBA, we have a four-unit on docket today. Um, and college basketball, five-unit selection, as you know, today. NHL, two-unit selection. 2-0 uh, oh on Tuesday, by the way, plus 500. Seven and three soccer run as well. All right, your free play today is I like the Miami Heat. Nice free play winner yesterday, I believe, as we gave you the Lakers. Also gave you the Knicks as well, which was both were both winners. I think Miami can do well here. I think at some point the Memphis Grizzlies have to have a letdown, and I think it's probably going to be here, minus the four. Um, I don't like the fact that it kind of went down from four and a half to four, but my Memphis did beat this team 101-93 last time, and they beat them the last two times. Memphis has beaten Golden State. They've beaten Dallas twice. I think they're in for a letdown here, right, as they face a Miami team that just beat Utah, that had beaten Cleveland prior to that, that had beaten Atlanta uh, twice prior to that as well. Uh, Moran is still, of course, um, is on suspension, but he's eligible on Monday. And, um, you know, given the fact that I feel like Miami put up 119 points in their last game and 119 points against Utah, Miami's pretty healthy now. Love and Butler and, Her and Tyler Hero and Vincent and Lowry and Oladipo, I think they're going to be okay today. I think they're going to get up for the Grizzlies, and I think they're going to be all right today. I like Miami minus the four today to get it done. We have them by about six or eight points here. I also like the under between Sacramento and Chicago. That was nearly the free play, but I went with the side instead. But I do like the under here between the Kings and the Bulls. Keep in mind the Kings gave up 133 points against Milwaukee last game. I usually when they give up that many points, they bounce back defensively. They gave 138 to Minnesota, and then immediately the next game they gave 108 to um, New Orleans. They've won eight of the last 10. Mike Brown always preaches defense. Chicago comes in giving up 111 points to Houston and 96 points to Denver. They've shaped up defensively pretty well lately, and they've won about four of their last seven games, so they are sort of turning their season around. I had this game around the high 220s, um, around 228, 229, so I like the under in that game. As far as um, your other selection here, I like the over between Dallas and San Antonio. Dallas won 142 to 116 last time on February 23rd. Still no Luka, still no Ky uh, Kyrie for this game. But you better believe the Spurs will be up for some decent revenge and some decent defense, and I get that. However, Dallas only put up 88 points in their last game, so offense is going to be a focus for them here coming into this game. After putting up 88 against Memphis and 108 against Memphis in back-to-back -back games, you'd think they're going to play pretty well on the offensive side of things here. And uh, Spurs come in with the no-scoring issues at all. They dropped 140 recently. Uh, I'm sorry. The Spurs dropped... Uh, what did they drop? They dropped... Uh, very high totals recently. They dropped 128, sorry, against Denver and 132 against Orlando. No problem scoring whatsoever. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're an active dog and they possibly send this game over the total as well. The over is 6-1 and one for the Spurs and they play on zero days of rest as well. YouTube premium, it is between Oregon and UC Irvine, which I love. Boston and Minnesota as well. And also uh, Golden State and the LA Clippers. That's what we have here on today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Please take a moment to like and subscribe and I'll see you back here tomorrow. India Cowboy, working hard for you every single day.